today we will discuss uh, xpath which is used to identify your web element in your project so now what is xpath so xpath is a path which is used to locate your web element address in your html content so we'll see our web html content i'm opening firefox browser so we'll note it somewhere xpath there are two types of xpaths one is absolute xpath and the second one is relative xpath so absolute xpath means the xpath we will use double slash which takes this value from the root root in the sense generally our html content will be displayed like html tag head tag body tag and then some other tags div elements some input fields like this right so these many tags will be there in our html source so we cannot write complete uh, tags in our xpath so to avoid this uh, lengthy uh, locator we will use a uh, double slash which will take from root root in the sense from uh, from the beginning you can say so relative xpath in the sense the complete you are the complete locator we will ident means we will write that means a uh, uh, html head uh, body div some whatever until and until our uh, web element uh, tag now we will generally use uh, absolute xpath so we, we cannot use this relative xpath so we will discuss about absolute xpath how many types of uh, syntaxes are there so we'll discuss all those things today with examples now generally our html uh, uh, source source contains uh, some unique identifier whatever we discussed uh, in the earlier classes they are uh, id attribute name attribute and class attribute id name class and link attribute so these four are the unique attributes in our html source so each and every tag contains any one of these uh, unique attributes so so that we can identify easily so now generally uh, previously we identified by id in, by name by class by link right now in xpath how can we use these attributes now Uh, if a tag contains an id attribute or any name attribute or class attribute a link attribute so the syntax for this is tag name square brackets in that we have to write at the rate that means at attribute value so here we have to mention attribute name equal to some value attribute value will be there right so that attribute value we have to mention here now so we'll check this uh, syntax first this is the first syntax in our absolute xpath where when a tag name contains any attribute and it's having some value so i'm opening google site now i am i want to identify this text field google text field i'm right clicking here and inspect element with firebug so the parent tag contains see how the parent child re relation here the parent tag is div here and it is having some id attribute and it's having some value and the child tag is input here whatever the field uh, tag highlighted in the in our html source so the parent here is div tag so i'm opening selenium id 
to locate that element. So to open Selenium ID, you have to go to menu bar and that tools menu. Tools menu will contain uh, ID. So now, what is the tag name here? The parent or the general tag name. Here there is no. So we are considering the first syntax, right? So it contains just tag name and its attribute name and value. So the first tag name here is the input tag name is input and the attribute here we have id attribute class attribute any other unique attribute name attribute also we have here so by using these three we will identify our web element locate now tag name is input and the attribute name is id so what is that id value here the id value here is lst hyphen ib so i'm copying this now going to selenium id and pasting it here now we'll see whether this is locating the text field in our google website see that field is highlighting in a yellow color so this is the way to identify or to locate a web element using tag and it's having any attribute. Now I'm changing it to some class name. I have class here and I have class value as GSFI. I'll highlight this is the one. So I'm copying this and changing here at attribute name as class attribute value is gs i copied right so i can paste it here gs yeah fine let's see how i'm clicking find to identify it so the text field is getting identified so like this we can identify web element we can locate web elements by using xpath the first syntax is having tag and it's having an attribute so this is the way to to locate a web element by using xpath now if the second syntax we have if uh, html source or the field is having some relation that means a uh, parent and child tags that is there in the child uh, what are the field is there in the child tag and it is having some parent tag same field we will consider here the child tag here is uh, input tag and the parent tag here is some div tag div tag is having some its own at id attribute so we can take this so i'll write i'll tell first uh, syntax for that if there is any parent child relation so parent and child relation Now here what we have to do, so first we have to add parent tag, parent tag name of its attribute name, same thing like this, I am copying this, and one more slash, as it is having child tag so we have to put child tag name here so this is a syntax for when the locator is having some parent child relation that means uh, the locator is uh, element id or name or class is having some child attribute and the relation is the child attribute is having some uh, parent ta tag so now we will identify our web element by using parent child relation so now same field I am considering here the parent uh, tag here is a uh, div tag so I am copying this id attribute value going to selenium id I am stopping the record 
the parent tag name here is div tag so div tag of what is its id attribute name is id and what's its value some gs underscore lc0 that's what right here yeah. so now what is its uh, child tag means that means where are the input field located so that is child tag so i'm just putting its name child tag name what is the child tag name here input so now we'll try to identify google search text field see it's getting highlighted i'll move down somehow now see it's getting identified so like this uh, we can identify or we can locate a web element when it is having parent child uh, relation so the syntax for that is parent tag name of its attribute name and its value and child tag name this is the syntax for parent child uh, relation now one more thing we have when if you want to uh, locate a web element which is in some table that means table contains some position right so for that that means uh, if you want to locate a web element having a table so if you want to locate a web element in a table so the syntax for that is generally table row will have some index so some index i'm putting two here and the column double slash column and it's having some row id row number right so i'm putting some two again here you can put three so by this way we can locate a position of an element so now we'll see example for this this is the third one right table data so how to identify how to locate a web element by position in xpath syntax i am going to selenium main site because it's having some tables i'm going to some documentation in that selenium ide where is it okay i'm clicking script syntax link here i'm checking yeah we have some tables here right this one this one and uh, we have many tables in this page so just we'll i'll write a position uh, syntax here double slash tr that means row table row some one i'm taking that means first row it considers and double slash td that means column i'm taking second second column first row second column you see what things are highlighting getting highlighting here see you you can see the first table first row um, is highlighting here it is not visible so this field is getting identified you can see it is getting highlighted in yellow color small change because i didn't put any table name here that's why it's not showing the second table if i click select here you can easily identify this right so now if i click find it's highlighting the first row of second element so like this we can identify a table data that means position x path position till now we learn uh, how to identify element, uh, web element by having a, a tag and it's having uh, any attribute and the second one is the web element is having a parent and child attribute and the third one is 
the bellman is having some uh, position so these three ways are used to uh, locate a web element in our web page